Hello everyone, this is Award Exposure. There are some allegations out of Philadelphia from a foster mother that a caseworker from the Philadelphia Department of Human Services pressured her teen daughter to have a late-term abortion at 22 weeks pregnant. The foster mother says that the DHS told her daughter that they would not only take away the baby if it was born, but that they would also take away her other child if she put up a fight about it. Now, the DHS is giving the excuse that there was a language difference that created the misunderstanding. Apparently, the DHS went and got a judge's order allowing the teen to have an abortion. By the time they got around to the abortion, she was 24 weeks pregnant. They then had to leave the state for the abortion because abortions in Pennsylvania are illegal at 24 weeks. Now, it is a DHS policy that a DHS worker accompany any minor who has a court-ordered medical procedure, and they did not do that on the first attempt of the abortion. Now, I say first attempt because they never went through with it because the clinic would not accept her Medicaid card and wanted cash instead. When they got it all worked out, there was a DHS worker there to accompany her on the successful attempt. Now, the girl's foster mother told the Daily News that her daughter was excited when she found out it was a boy and even told her toddler that a younger brother was on the way. She even started picking out names for him. The teen's birth mother also confirms this because she said her daughter came back from the ultrasound happy. Then the birth mother found out she went in for an abortion. The birth mother also stated that her daughter had been threatened by the DHS once before to have her living child taken away from her because she did not take the child to daycare. Now, if she had just left the child by itself instead of taking it to daycare, then the DHS should have obviously taken the child. But, since they did not take the child, it seems as if the situation would have been less serious, and that maybe the DHS should have not made such a threat. Anyway, when all is said and done, you good citizens of Philadelphia are paying for abortions that are illegal to perform on in your state using your city's general funds. Now, I tend to go with a foster mother story on this because it can be backed up by the birth mother story. Now, in my opinion, the Philadelphia Department of Human Services' trivial excuse for a language difference seems quite tenuous for having caused the loss of a life and whatever extreme emotional damage it could have on all the family members involved. So now, I have a question. For all you drama queens who are angry with Oklahoma, and in some cases even cowardly blaming Christians, for passing a law which requires women to have an ultrasound before having an abortion, what do you have to say about Philadelphia performing an abortion on a minor 24 weeks pregnant in another state because it is illegal in their state, all because of either a misunderstanding or because they pressured her into having it done?